Hello and welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm doing another five star prediction follow up. So I have six books I'm going to talk about today. I'll tell you if they were actually five stars or not. I do have another six books that I still need to read from one of my previous five star prediction videos and so I will do that eventually. However, I don't think I'm going to make any more five star prediction videos in general because apparently I'm not that great at it. I don't know what that says about me but we're going to go ahead and get started starting off with A Darker Shade of Magic. This is the first book in the Shades of Magic trilogy I think that's what it's called. I DNF this. So yeah that didn't go well. I made it I think about a hundred pages in. 102 pages and the thing is I can't get rid of these because I have the Barnes and Noble special editions and they're all very pretty and they were all gifts so I'm gonna keep them for decor. Content matter not so much. The only other thing that I have read by V.E. Schwab is Vicious and I rated that five stars so clearly I was led astray because you know that one worked out well thought this was gonna work out and it didn't and this one we're following I think his name is Kel and he has this magical coat that allows him to travel through the different Londons there are four different Londons three of them he is able to access the other one I guess was like destroyed or something like that that's pretty much all I know like don't ask me what the purpose of him traveling through different Londons is aside from smuggling things I think Otherwise, I have no idea. And then I was introduced to Lila Bard and I was like, yeah, nah, I'm good. So yeah, that didn't that didn't work out. This was a buddy read with Robin and we both DNF'd. So, yep. Then I have The Final Strife by Sara El Arifi. This is the first book in the Ending Fire trilogy. This was a four and a half star read. So pretty good. I did really enjoy it. I annotated this copy. I had an arc of book two. I do also now have a physical copy of book two and I'm hoping to get an arc of book three. If not, I will still be pre-ordering that last book. In this, we are following three different characters in this empire where there is a caste system based on the color of your blood. So if you have red blood, you're an ember and you're sort of at the top of the totem pole. Dusters have blue blood and and they're more of a working class and then ghostings are the servants and sort of the lowest class they have clear blood so we're following three different characters from the three different caste systems and there are some secrets that the empire is hiding and these characters are working together to find out what's really going on that's all i'll say i do have a review of both the final strife and the battle drum so i will have those in the description for you really looking forward to book three it's supposed to come out in august of 2024 i think which is a really long time to wait but i am planning to reread this in the second book Next, I have Fury Born by Claire Legrand. This is the first book in the Imperium trilogy. I rated this one three and a half stars. I didn't love it, but I did move on to the second book and then I DNF'd that one. In this one, we're following two women a thousand years apart. One of them is prophesied to be the Blood Queen and one of them is prophesied to be the Sun Queen. So essentially one is good and one is bad. However, we don't know who is who just yet. And so we're following both of their stories, trying to put the pieces together and also trying to find a connection between the two of them. This could have been great, except one of the characters was a dumb bitch and pissed me off constantly so unfortunately this was not a five star prediction and i dnf the series next i have first love take two by sajmi patel this is the sequel to the trouble with hating you which i really enjoyed this one i rated three and a half stars honestly it could have been a five star for a female main character it wasn't so fucking annoying and this we're following preeti and daniel they are exes but it's forced proximity they are currently living in the same apartment because he is waiting for his house to be built. He just moved back to town and she is staying in her best friend's old apartment for whatever reason. I really loved Daniel as a character, but Preeti was really annoying because a lot of the miscommunication, lack of communication, why can't we resolve our issues was on her. And if that hadn't been the case, I definitely think that this would have been a five star because it was very cute. Next is The Bone Shard Daughter. This is the first book in the drowning empire maybe something like that i dnf this after 50 pages i have a physical copy somewhere or maybe i sold it i'm not sure don't ask me what it's about either because i really don't know something about bone magic that's all i got 
Honestly, I found it very boring. There was like one chapter that was semi-interesting, but then I was also talking to Monet about it and she was like, the most interesting parts are the very beginning and the very end. And I was like, I don't have it in me to keep going. I softy enoughed it for a while and then when it was time to pick back up, I just didn't care anymore. And the last book that I have for today is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. And this we're following Donis. She accidentally witnesses a murder and then gets asked to help with the investigation. And she's very reluctant about it, but she decides to do it at the same time there's this new kid in town his name is Jamie he plays on her brother's hockey team and she's starting to fall for him so we're just sort of following her story from there this is an indigenous YA mystery crime fiction I'm not quite sure how to classify it but I really enjoyed it this one was actually five stars I got one I really enjoyed the glimpses into their culture life on the reservation the way that our main character is treated because she is half indigenous and half white and what that looks like for her and I know that there's a second book um, that is a little bit in the future following one of Donna's little cousins but I don't know if I'm gonna read it yet I'm gonna wait and see some reviews and see See how people are feeling about it before I decide to dive in but I did really enjoy this one and I'm really glad that I finally read it. So that is my five star prediction follow-up. Out of the six books that I talked about today only one of them was five stars and this is why I'm not going to do five star predictions anymore. Let me know if you had any five star predictions for 2023 and how that worked out for you. Let me know if you've read any of these or if they are on your TBR otherwise that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.